Our big adventure this year was actually to go and check out the Amazon. My brothers and I were so excited, we've been talking about it for years, we're getting ready to go, we're starting the planning process, and then 18 months ago, our dad gets a hold of us and says that he wants to come join us on one of our canoe camping trips. The Amazon would have to wait. We didn't mind because we had been trying to get our dad to come with us for like the last three years on some of our trips, but he's always had previous engagements, like going to Kenya and, and doing humanitarian aid out there, right? But we were just happy that he could come and join us. Because my dad had always heard so much about the Boundary Waters, we wanted to take him there. The plan was to run the entire eastern section of the Boundary Waters area. Our route would span roughly 60 miles between Gunflint Lake all the way to the banks of Gichigami. Our first day would be spent paddling Gunflint Lake into Little Gunflint Lake and North Lake before crossing over the Height of Land Portage to find a campsite and enjoying an extra day in camp. Day three would be a grueling day as we traverse over Long Portage and make our way to Mountain Lake before spending an extra day at camp. Hopefully everyone at this point should be recovered from our Long Portage experience as we make our way on day five into South Fowl. This would be our very last campsite before day seven where we would have to paddle through the Pigeon River and ultimately the nine grueling miles of the Grand Portage to link up with Missy on the banks of Lake Superior. We captured a whole lot of footage and our time out there and I'm having a whole lot of fun right now reliving all the memories as I'm editing these videos. And what I present to you is the first installment of our adventure with a new addition, my dad. With less than two weeks before our trip, I am still trying to figure out what we need to bring. For the most part, I think I got it narrowed down to the basics, but my basement just is a mess. I have a sea of dry bags, I have food, I have paddle gear, I have an axe, a saw, video camera equipment, everything that I need or that I think I need to come with us, and it is just laying about. With the distance that we're going to be traveling, every piece of gear that we are taking, we are considering three times over, do we really need it? And what's its value and worth? It is Thursday night and we are packing and I am excited because tomorrow after work, we are Minnesota bound. Good morning, we are finally on our way to Minnesota. I am following behind Missy who is towing the canoes. This is a good opportunity for her to get some practice with the trailer. Uh, we got about three hours before we finally get to Elk River, which is where we're gonna be setting up base camp before we jump out uh, to the North Woods. And whew, never thought this moment would come, I'm excited. It was all smooth sailing from here. We had a little incident with the trailer at a very busy junction just south of the Twin Cities. Here I'm working to straighten and reinforce the rear upright, which you can see is no longer straight. See where the rear uprights connect to the rest of the trailer, that the metal has actually started to fatigue and tear away from the trailer. Here with my brother Robert, we finally got our uh, canoes out here. <laughs> 
Gonna go pick the kids up now. Can't now we got everybody. <laughs> you can't escape. Just just say hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. What? Are you just following me? Yeah, no, I mean, you both of yeah, you, you. You boys ready for the trip? Yes, no. Dad. Yeah? No, maybe yes. so? That's a solid maybe. All right, we'll get started. Of course, our first order of business was to fix the trailer. We were able to stiffen and support the rear upright with some 2x4s that we found laying around. This would hopefully give us the support that we needed, not just for the journey up there, but our journey back home as well. I do believe that ain't going. That is nowhere. It's pretty solid. Now, if you just paint it, it's gonna be a permanent uh, fixture. <laughs> paint it and uh, cut these bolts. The size of your bag, your pad, and your pillow if you have a pillow. Next came the arduous task of unpacking, inventorying, inspecting, and repacking all of our equipment. Hopefully this time though, for the last time. Of course, it wasn't all work and no play. Here the boys are letting off some steam, and it all started when Evan challenged his Uncle Robert to a wrestling match. And it didn't take long for everybody to want to get in on it. With that out of our system, we went right back to getting ready for our trip. Here we're doing some training on bear spray. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about bear spray in, in the here and now. There is a bear up there that's very prevalent. That's the black one time. Bear. And then when I come back again, because we gotta go through the portage, what are we doing? Oh, making noise, making our presence known. We're making our presence known. At this oh. point, if I got the bear coming up on me, and this is inner training round, but you still don't want to have everybody on you. I got the bear coming up on me. I'm gonna remove this from my holster. Roar. Okay. Rawr. We're gonna just drop that straight down there. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk back. If the bear decides and wants to charge at me, I'm just gonna lay that fan and just let it run through. We're on our way, heading out for our adventure. Oh. What'd you do with the plates for my car? No, uh, Missy plates? had them. Missy had them stacked away. Oh, fun! Because she told me to ask you. Oh, that's great. We'll mail them. <laughs> we we do have we do have them. I have a picture of them in case. Yeah. I get pulled over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
After three hours of driving, we were finally able to see Lake Superior. There was a beautiful wayside rest on the far side of Duluth. And we couldn't resist the thought of having a picnic or just stretching our legs. This beautiful moment, however, would soon be spoiled by something that would plague us for the rest of our journey. Well-timed dad jokes. I think I need a good rock joke. She didn't tell you one, but she would just take it for granite. <laughs> <laughs> After six hours on the road, we were ready for a hot meal, a cold beer, and a warm bed before starting our journey the following morning. We're in Grand Marais right now. Getting ready to jump off. Our ride should be here in about 10 minutes. Uh, and she's gonna take us to our put in point out at Gunflint Lake, and we're gonna start our trip. Oh my God. You happy? You ready to go? No, Ron. Not at all. Not happy? Ready? You ready for this? I didn't get a choice, so I'm going to be forced to be. Oh, you were, yeah. You're gonna, you will be happy too. No. No, you will be happy. <laughs> I didn't even get a choice to come along. Why would I be happy? Good morning. Good morning. I can leave you out there with bears. Change yeah, your mind. No choice here. With I'll be part of the storm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gonna be great. Suddenly, it looks like your boat uh, is pretty light. Light. No, 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 no. It, it's, yeah. We're carrying the weight of this team with us, so. Before embarking, I thought it'd be a good idea that we at least ask for blessings for this journey. If the bears didn't kill anyone, I might have. Okay, Father, we ask the blessing strip, Lord, and all that's been put into it and all the people behind it that put a lot of effort in work, Lord, and we need you to go before us, be with us, guide us, keep us safe, Lord, um, go prepare the journey for us, what we got, got to encounter and what we got to do, and we have uh, a lot of people here, uh, and the memories will be spent together, Lord, just bless it, and thank you for everything that you've given us, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. There's a 20-foot Voyager canoe, birch bark. Yeah. I picked this route because it was part of the old Voyager Highway and I really wanted my family to experience some of what the Voyagers had gone through. This was a treat and hopefully a good omen. So did you, did you pay attention at all, at all son yeah. to our class, okay? Then make sure that we're going in the right direction. Where are we going? We're lost. We're, we're gone. We're not even going to live, guys. This is ridiculous. We haven't even got onto the water. We, 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 no, it's over. All hope is over. Hope has arrived. We 
can leave. Yeah, we're being rescued already. Do you know what direction we're heading, Evan? East. What's east? East is that way. East is what way? This way. That way, yes. What 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 can we find if we keep going east? The sun. I don't even claim them at this point. After 20 minutes, I decided I was tired right. of waiting for Evan to figure out where he was. He can keep the map, the compass, and the GPS, and I would be heading east. And if he was smart, he would follow me. Here we go. There's nice them. They're out there already. Here we are. I have no idea how this thing's facing. And there's Ronald in the All back. Right. Howdy. So I, I'll I'll do left mostly. So this way, right? Yeah, we. Yeah, well. Uh, no, my straight, right? Yeah, straight. I'm working on technique. Uh, your your top your your uh, dominant hand doesn't need to bend either. So it's just gonna be yeah, like that, and just both arms straight. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to yep, just let that. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it. So I probably should have told you it's going to rain. <laughs> really? In case you haven't figured it out, the forecast said a 40% uh, chance of rain. I thought you were going to brace the suck. Yeah. Not 100% chance, 50%. We're getting kissed by heaven right now. It's beautiful. So you got a 40% chance of suck. No, Dad, this is an Isaac trip. It's 100%. You know what you signed up for. You just had, you heard the stories. You had to come experience it firsthand. Embracing the suck, the marine. Embrace the suck. 40%, but I said it's 100%. It's a, it's a hundred percent secondary fun. Still goon choking, huh? Well, I tried this way and the Canadian paddle. You gotta figure out this, the thumbs down. And then you figure out the Canadian paddle. I have yet to so turn your wrist. 
But yeah, so you're not up here, you're here. And then, and then thumbs down. Oh, makes, I was holding it like this. Yeah, kink your wrist up. Easier? Number two. We got a picture of that. It was uh after the first one, Missy. Yeah. We we're all holding our pals up. We gave it Aiden. Aiden? I think it was Aiden. The sign pad was all of us signing it. Mm -hmm. the date where we went. And we're doing that. Uh, the pals were ahead. Like look at them disappear. Yeah. Are we going that way, too? I guess so. I see rocks. I see rocks. I see rocks. I see London. I see pants. I see someone in your underpants. I see pillow. I see somebody in your underpants. I see a bad mama jama. Don't take shit from nobody. Nope, I'm hitting bottom. Oh boy, saying that. Oh, you, you just drag us up with like a like a, a foot or two. Put it right there. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. Now we stretch, we lunch. Gotta get blood in my legs. Yeah, we just stretch, we lunch. Ahoy then, matey. Land ho. Taking the boat with me, I'm walking the boat. <laughs> Because I was wondering if you guys were gonna be like, where the hell did they go? No. I oh, saw fish, it. fish, fish. We have artificial Jesus. Artificial water. Jesus? I'll take water. <laughs> See it, the low point, porch is right next to it. So there's a low point, porch is just off to the right.
Alright, stop pounding. We'll get you to paddle backwards right now. That's good. So on the portage, we're making noise now, okay? Here, here's your bag. It's not very far. It's a, it's a quick portage. Take this to the to the end and come back. Okay. Okay. Here. Yep. So we just go yep. Up, yep. Or yep. We go that way? Nope. Left. Go left. You're making noise, okay? Yeah. Okay. Go left and make noise. Bring her on in. Bring her on in. All yep. Right. Four, I need the nose right here, Dad. Yeah, no, I need that. All right. Easy. Easy peasy. That's all she wrote. So usually like this, and you can pull it up. To the point you feel some drag, and then you just stabilize, and he'll come out. And we're good. Yep. Short portage, very short portage. No, oh, it's a short portage. Oh yeah, it's like 16 rods. 16 and a half foot is a rod. You know, if you, uh, took your bag off, you'd have a little bit more wiggle room to swat at them. Be very careful. Remember how your uncle broke that strap? Yeah, so just try your best not to jerk it around, okay? It's a very small landing on the other side. So you, we're not gonna be able to get all of the canoes all at once there. At this point, the wind and the rain started to really come down. Fortunately for us, it was only a short two mile paddle to the Haida Land Portage. All right, so we just hit the first major milestone of the trip. This is the height of land, the Laurentian Divide. It is of significant importance, and I'll talk about that a little later. But when the voyageurs would go on a voyage, any time that they hit the height of land, they always celebrated. And in true voyageur fashion, tonight, we too will celebrate. This would be the last portage that we would have to contend with for the day. And luckily for us, our camp was not far from the other side. You got you, Ron? Yes, sir. Only good days. Only good days. <laughs> triple, triple portage? Or is Uncle Lico? Uncle Lico's getting the canoe. <laughs> I got these because they're inside the You're clay. the Stearns man. Stearns man is supposed to be the... I got a drug deal. <laughs> Despite having strong legs and a young back, Evan would leave the burden of carrying this canoe to his bound. Oh my god. The wind did that to our canoes. Got it? Ronald, hold this. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it right here. Go ahead.
screen turned off, Isaac. All right. Arms are hurting. All right. One arm grabs this. Thanks. Hey, I'm, uh, Squeaks, get over here. Okay. Your whole back is full of water. Yeah. Watch out, Ron. It's gonna. Go ahead. Double portage. Oh. All right, we'll send Evan back. Good. I'm, I'm probably gonna need a double portage. This. What's wrong with the canoe? That's the person. We got this on camera. I go. Thank you. Now that was a proper portage. A little short, but proper. So just right around the right around the bend there should be camps. Should I adjust those well to you? Left some stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. I gotta go pee now. Oh, nice. Hey, I'm holding that. Find it everywhere. Cool. There's toilets all around you, Dad. Oh, I know, and I'm looking forward to using it. The trains. See, when you're surrounded by this much mosquitoes, you're always cautious about where you expose your skin. I know, <laughs> right? We nabbed the first available campsite and wasted no time in quickly setting up camp. The good news is, about this time there was a break in the weather and the clouds, rain and wind started to lighten up. Here, I'm showing Ronald the method I used to split a log with a smaller axe. 
After burying the axe head into the top of the log, I then heave the whole thing onto my shoulder, invert it, and strike downward again. The weight of the log causes it to split over my axe head easier. Ronald, before you do that, take your take the thing off your hip so you look cooler. I can't edit that out. I'm not that good. <laughs> yeah, you That actually looks good. That worked. Fun. Well, you have a go? Have I'd a swing like, at it? Yeah, I'd like to swing at it. Get a, get a chunk right. at it. Come on, get over. I'm gonna change your sure feet or at least shoulder width apart so you don't mm. chop away. Miss and... Oh. Bend your knees. The skill level. <laughs> And that's fine, I split it. Ta -da. He broke Dude, his hand. make love to the camera, not, not war to your brother. Finding motivated workers to process enough firewood to cook tonight's meal wasn't a problem. We were all hungry. Of course everyone was motivated. Tonight's meal would be a real treat. It was peppered steak with a side of buttered carrots and potatoes cooked over an open fire. Pepper. Look, look more enthusiastic. Look more camera happy. There we go. <laughs> look, my hobo packet. <laughs> you cut wood again. <laughs> I have wood to cut. Find, no, I'm not going to say find something to cut because you'll find something. God's allergic to hippies. I remember that joke. What's tight? Hmm? What's tight? Hey, Evan, what are you doing, Evan? Yeah, I'm putting the pepper. Yep. Try to get the Thanks, we'll use that in the video, definitely. Cutting peppers. You got it. You got it, buddy. Me, Evan. You doing good. I don't have much luck with this thing. The wood surprise is they wood. didn't get battered or wood broken and all the cutting I've been doing. What kind of thing the fire's going, Evan? Let's keep going. Make sure it keeps going. We're gonna see the old man then. Fire's going. Got that on video. Yeah, thank you. You're back there pretty good. I got, yeah, you can have that one, Dad. How much wood? Those are pretty cheap. They're like six wood for nine bucks. Damn. Dad, Yo. I made the chopsticks better. better. It's fun. It's blowing. I, I, I could eat with these. I could actually eat with these. Want to finish here? Oh. I no. Everyone's got his own chair. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome to cook and be close to the food yep. that he's cooking. Here. Do you know how much I'd actually be able to make now? Mm. You good? Are your chopsticks working? Oh, there is salt as well. Oh, um, yeah. It's on the canoe. Good. The red, big red over there. Yep, it's on big red. Oh, that's just dripping butter. Probably would be a good idea to put it in the bowl. Better on the ground. Mm -hmm. And on your lap. Right, Uncle Ronald. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if my hairy girlfriend comes. 
you give me a kiss good night. <laughs> it's literally a kiss goodbye. Are they found these jewels? Yep. That's gonna be one kiss goodbye there. So it's been about a year coming through here uh, for the planning to get everybody here. Dad, you really threw a monkey wrench in and got us moving uh, early on trying to trying to mobilize the troops to make this happen. I wanted to share this with you and I'm going to be legit here in genuine. I wanted to share all this with you guys and Evan, Aiden, you guys are up here. You're part of this code too. Stand on up. There's a reason why I chose this specific section of the Boundary Waters. It is of great significance. Uh, geographically, historically, I mean, you name it, there, there's so much that goes for that. Anytime that the voyagers crossed over that um, height of land was a, histi uh, a significant event. And I'm going to talk more about that tomorrow. Hopefully I can get up on there and we'll actually talk about the Laurentian Divide a little bit more. Um, but with that being said, it's time for us to actually celebrate in true voyager fashion because of all the things that we've gone through. Now that we've crossed the height of land and in true Voyager fashion, we will recite the Voyager's Code and should take the traditional Voyager's toast to congratulate, congratulate ourselves in reaching this achievement. Ahem. Repeat after me. A Voyager rises early and retires late. A Voyager, Voyager rises, rises early, early and, and retires, retires late. A Voyager paddles hard in the day and eats heartily at night. Voyager paddles hard during the day and eats heartily during the night. When the trip is done, they drink merrily. And when the trip is done, they drink merrily. A Voyager relies on his team to get him from A to B. A Voyager relies on his team to get him from A to B. But a Voyager also makes sure that his team can rely on him. But a Voyager also makes sure that his team can rely on him. A Voyager works hard. A Voyager works hard, plays hard, plays hard, and respects the land. And respects the land. A Voyager never kisses another Voyager spouse without asking first for permission. A Voyager never kisses another Voyager spouse without first asking permission. And in this, and this, in the name of the Northwest Company, we say, Amen. And within this, and this, you say, Amen. All right. Okay. Amen. Amen. Say, Amen. All right, in true Voyager fashion, Ronald, please come forward. Bend a knee. Do you accept this code? I accept this code. Alcohol. Now you can go ahead and replace <sighs> Squeaker. Squeaker, that's a shit. Come on over, Alika. I don't want to read you. You got to do the whole thing. Audio. Ronald, come on over and get him, get a close up on this. You accept this code. I accept this code. I accept the code, but not the gift. You get three points. Too bad you get it anyways. Nice. Evan. Do you accept this code? Yes. This is going to be a mess, so you pour <laughs> it. Aiden. Do you accept this code? Yes, but I'm not, I'm okay without the gift. It's Too just fruit punch. Oh. You yeah, gotta take it. Look up. It's not. <laughs> Here, go ahead and drink some more. It's not legit unless you do it. Okay, or not. Dad? You gonna do the whiskey? Mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah, yeah, this me... is a historic <laughs> moment. Oh, right. Well, it has to be historic, right? I'll give you a, a quarter shot, Dad. Do you accept this code? Yeah. <laughs> that is a historical moment. Hot. <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> well, that's yeah, horrible, right? That Jeez. is awesome. That is the voice. Wow. Video. That is so <laughs> We have video evidence. <laughs> Come here, Dad. Come here, Dad. I love you. I love you, too. That's great. I had one beer with this guy my entire <laughs> life. Those <Closing> words. <laughs> now it's two. I have. Uh, now it's two. I, so, I, I wait, Dad, you have to accept the Voyager's code. Oh, I've accepted the Voyager's no, code. No, no, no. Give this to me. Wait, <laughs> this is gonna come from another Voyager. Okay. Yeah. Well. 
drink the alcohol. Do you accept the Voyager's code? I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> Enjoy your triple shot. Thank Canadian, you some. Canadian whiskey? Canadian whiskey. Cleans out your insides. It does. All right, wow. Following the Height of Land ceremony, these Kanakas spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company with a whiskey-fueled fireside chat. Thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned to see how the rest of this adventure unfolds.